Hello everybody, Spanky Day here for Spanky Day Models. Okay guys, this is going to be an entry for a cancer awareness group build by Charlie Mack, the host. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and enter this. It's a, it's a paper model. I think it would be a kind of cool thing to do. This is my G-Li Fairy Battle. Here's a format that uses a uh, title page of the kit. And that's for the kit right here. So I think I'm going to build this tonight, work on this a little bit tonight. And that's my entry. It's 133 scale. It's going to be a big airplane. The Fairy Battle was a pretty good sized aircraft. The light bomber, Mark 1. Uh, they were. Uh, To its history, I think they used it pretty much through the war, especially in the beginning. And uh, they're they're a, a pretty large airplane, almost the size of that of the of the, uh, of the mosquito bomber. They're uh, they had what makes what was so unique about the uh, about the ferry battle is that they had internal stores upon bays beneath the wings, almost that of the uh, Sterling bomber. Of the uh, short sterling, it had um, two. I think what did it have? Uh, six. It has four. It had four. Uh, four bays underneath each uh, of the sterling. Same thing there. The Halifax bomber. Same thing as that too. So they had internal stores on it. Think a crew too. Probably had a radio operator uh, and uh, probably. Radio operator, navigator, or whatever they had back here, and also the aerial gunner they had, and also an observer where they used. I don't know too much about the ferry battle, although it's a pretty airplane. I know it was used very early during the war. They may have used it throughout the whole war. And uh, the English, they uh, used pretty much everything they got at the time. And uh, it served them well throughout the beginning of the war. They used it through the rest of the war. I guess only aircraft I think they they didn't use during the beginning of the war was the Manchester bomber, which they did at the beginning of the war they did. But it was underpowered by those engines they had. And they had the the Harlow and a bunch of other ones out there that they they were made back in the thirties and twenties and they were obsolete. They could not use them. If any you probably use them for us <clears throat> probably more or less for um Carry cargo, supplies, utility aircraft, glider tugs, and such. So that's my group entry right there. That's my entry I'm going to be doing for uh, Char Charlie Max, the Cancer Awareness Group, Bill. I've been working on everything, guys. Everything. I got the fences over right behind me. I got it all primed up and everything. I had to apply some filler on top of the wing roots on there. I had to sand, wet and dry sand them off and get them all reprimed. So she's ready for her final paint schedule. So I, you know, I'll get some special paint for tomorrow, probably. I've been working on Affection Annie. I'm getting her pretty well wrapped up. Tonight, I think I'm going to go ahead and work on the, uh, the other engine that's out on here. And I got the blisters all on top of the... Uh, on the cowling on here, and I got the solid form across there with the engine facing bits on there, and I got the undercarriage I want to do. I want to make the undercarriage retractable, I'm thinking. So all I'll do this thing is just complete the, uh, complete the, uh, the starboard uh, engine SL, and. Uh, Work on the undercarriage, and she's about done. Put a gun back here, or a thirty caliber back here on the Bendix turret. I also got a tail wheel. Then I got some pastels over here. I'll do a little bit of weathering on her. I'm always doing this all the time. I think I'm up. I sometimes I see something where I miss, especially burns around me. Parts where they joined at. 
we can take some now too. Oh yeah. I think I've got to put some ammonia water on this thing. Bring up the heat a little bit. I got some ammonia water over here. A little saturated top of the wing in here. But it's set, but it's up to hard back there. It's okay. It's all right now. I'm going to have a plastic, you know, always moving around and everything. So I got a section nanny going pretty good. I just got to get together. Now I'm going to take some picture over outside. So I'll be working on this, and tomorrow I'm gonna go finish up on the on the Skyhawk. I get her all done, get that final of Bill flat up, then I start working on the. Uh, I'll get the pencils all painted up. I'll, I'll, I'll probably have the print. Ain't no hurry for some of a lot of these stuff here. I got enough of time. So I, I want to try to get these airplanes done before I get started on the hornet so i'll uh, probably start on the hornet probably by uh oh i don't know i'll say by uh next probably next month sometime what the hell's up there you gotta fly up there no wonder on top of my port right there. So what the hell's going on here? Anyway, that's my that's what I've been doing right now. I'm working on these card bottles now. I'm kind of getting back in there. I gotta keep my chops up. I'll keep you guys entertained. I got a lot of stuff coming. And you know, like I ain't no hurry for the princess. I got her at that's at the, how I want her and uh I got the AD, it won't take long to get the AD done and the rest of them all painted up there. Then get them all hung up, get them all done. Then my bench is be clean. So I can prepare for another bill. So I'm going to work on that Hornet probably next month. I'm going to give you the rest of this month to finish up. The Princess, the AD, the Skyhawk. Now I know I'll have this done here. I'll have Annie done probably by uh, by tomorrow. Okay, well, I'll finish, get a final bill for that. Also, been working on an F7F Tiger Cat by Go by Gomex models. Gomex by model paper kit here. That's uh, it took about six hours to do all that. Cut those pieces out, put the gun sight on there, everything. And I got the cheese slots here. And this goes down there like so. And the skin's covered up. 133 scale. So I'm about working on about three or four at a time. Okay, what else is there? Something else? Oh yeah, this came in yesterday. I've got me a, a couple more card kits came in the other day. I got another paper model of Annie, affection Annie, the answer. This comes from Ukraine, I think it is. Cut out all this stuff here. All the pieces. There's your formers here. You gotta devil over. Let's see what else here's going here. There's the uh, wings. Light gray with uh, light earth, dark earth, and dark green. There's a side of the fuselage of it.
and all these beautiful parts you got cut out in one. I love stuff like this. I eat the stuff up like a bonbon. Here's the interiors. Probably the, that be a navigator, radio operator. Also the uh, instrument panel. More of the wing. Not too bad of a kit. Looks pretty nice. All those parts. All that stuff. This picture of the finished model when it's done. And this came in. This is a Sonic. This is a container ship. Some uh, what is it? Ma and Ju and Co. This is a coal carrier. A collier. A coal carrier. And a scale of one two hundred. Is it scala? One two hundred scale? No no. One two fifty scale. Like I like these old GSC kits, they're pretty good. There's Parts you got to cut out right there. There's your top of your deck. Also the frame of your, the keel of your ship. Low waterline model. All those parts. Yeah. I love card bottles. So I'll be busy for a while, guys. I got enough stuff here to keep me going at least two lifetimes. I'm going to try to get as much as I've done in one lifetime. That's all I got left. Okay, that's about it. It's it for Annie. Again. And that's it for this. I'll start this on tonight. Okay, for our close off here, uh, congratulations to Mr. Bruce Kerr, Kerr, the missing model from the garage. He's got his uh, bounty and a couple ship models in a restaurant, I guess. Like he's got in display in there in Florida. And uh, congratulations to Mr. Kerr. And uh, so Bruce did a real nice job. I'm very envious of him i wish i was where he's at and uh but it is what it is and uh congratulations to, to bruce for having his model displayed in the restaurant right there what a place to have stuff like this beautiful makes billy models work all worthwhile because your work is there for a lot of people to see and also you know they see that people get interested in stuff like that. i like to have one of those in my office they go up to the manager. Who built that HMS bounty up there? Uh, Mr. Bruce Kerr. He comes here all the time and has lunch and stuff, you know, and that's just his model. You get a hold of him, you never know. That's how assignments happen. And not assignments, but that's how you uh, you get requisitions, you know, you build, build commissions. You get your commissions from. So, congratulations to you, buddy. Bruce is a very busy beaver like me. Okay. This is it for me. This is it for the GLI Geely 133 scale ferry battle. And also affection to Annie, the Anson Mark 1. And um, so I'll be uh, busy on these card bottles a bit. And I'll have the Skyhawk for you at home whenever I get it done. I've vowed so many times. I... It'll get done, guys. Just like the B25, like the old rest of them. I got them done. Okay. That's it for me. That's it for all these things. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. The next video is going to be, I don't have an idea. But anyway, it'll, it'll be something there. So, guys, okay, stay healthy. 
Make mama happy. Take care of the little ones. Stay focused when you drive. Be wary of the surroundings. Spend wisely. Get yourself a kit. It's getting cold outside. I've already got the heater going on right now over here. I paid the bill already, so I don't have to worry about pulling a plug on me. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, uh, let me get a little weird right here. So anyway, uh, okay, take care of yourself. I love you, fellas. Thank you very much for all my subscribers and people who are all your great viewers out there and subscribers out there who are who review my videos and look at them and stuff, you know, comment on my very, I'm very, very honored. It makes me happy. And it makes you smile. It makes you build more and more and more. So I get my new house probably coming up next month. Things work right, I'll be out of here. I'll, I'm going to keep this trailer. I want to use this as a spare tire. <laughs> the spare tire is emergency in case something happens there. At least I got a place to stay. So you always got to keep the nation in the hole all the time. It's very challenging living here. But one thing with certain guys, it beats the straights. And I sure enough ain't gonna live in old apartment. You gotta put up with bed bugs, roaches, people bickering. Possibility somebody could start a fire and cause you vacate your premises and lose everything you got. Uh uh. I'm pretty grateful on that right now. And uh, I know good things come to those that wait, so I waited long enough, and good Lord started to smile on me, and life in general is too, and things only get better. you got to be optimistic and keep your dobber up all the time and say your prayers. Okay, I'm out of here, guys. Say your prayers, and God bless you guys. I love you, fellas. Take care, and we'll catch you on the next video. So you guys take care, guys. I love you, fellas, very much. Y'all take care now. God bless you all.